Victoria's three-tiered exposure site system explained. You probably heard the words tier 1, 2 or 3 exposure sites before, but might not know what each tier means and what to do if you have been at a non-exposure site for a case. Tier 1 exposure Considered high risk. People who were at Tier 1 exposure site during the specified period could be considered close contacts of a non-COVID-19 case and must get tested immediately, even if they are fully vaccinated and isolate at home for 14 days from the date of exposure. Household members are encouraged to get tested as well, and if they get any symptoms, they should get tested as soon as possible. There is financial and another support is available for you. You may receive a phone call from a private number. Please answer this as it's likely to be a member of the health team to discuss your situation. Can I leave my house for any reason? No, to ensure your safety and minimize the risk of COVID-19 transmission, you and everyone in your household must stay at home for 14 days except to get urgent medical care, to get tested for COVID-19, in an emergency, if you or your children are escaping harm or are at risk of harm from family violence, you should also call Safe Steps on 1-8-0-0-1-5-1-8-8 and ask for help. They are open 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Why are people being asked to isolate themselves at home? Tier one site have a high risk of transmission of COVID-19. There's a risk that any at any time during the isolation period, a primary close contact may develop COVID-19, even if they have had initial negative test. I am fully vaccinated. Do I still need to isolate for 14 days? Yes, you and anyone you live with must stay at home for 14 days, even if you are fully vaccinated. While vaccination is very important for stopping you from getting very sick from COVID-19, it doesn't completely prevent the risk of catching the virus or passing it on to others. Can I leave home to buy food or groceries while I am in isolation? No, if you can get your groceries delivered, this is the best option. Make sure anyone dropping off food or groceries drop them at your door and you do not open the door while they are there or speak to them in person. Tier 2 Exposure Slightly lower risk People who were at Tier 2 site during the specified period are theoretically casual contacts of a non-COVID-19 case. People who visited a Tier 2 site are encouraged to urgently get a COVID-19 test and isolate until they receive a negative result. How do I know if I need to isolate? You will get a text message from the Department of Health. If you were present at Tier 2 site, you should urgently get a COVID-19 test and isolate until receiving a negative result. Can I have visitors to my home while I'm in isolation? No, this includes visitors in your front or backyard, as well as tradespeople like plumbers or electricians. I am fully vaccinated. Do I still need to isolate while waiting for my test results? Yes. Can I leave home to buy food and groceries while I'm in isolation? No, if you can get your groceries delivered, this is the best option. Make sure anyone dropping off food or groceries drop them at your door and you do not open the door while they are there or speak to them in person. Tier 3 Exposure Lowest Risk Tier 3 sites are made public for safety purposes and to make people aware of the potential of symptoms. People who visited a Tier 3 site should monitor for symptoms and isolate and get tested if symptoms develop.